Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Retro Bros. So today we're here in Croydon in the Whitgift Centre and we've come to check out a place called the Heart of Gaming. Now, we don't know a lot about this place. All we know is it's an arcade made up of retro games and new games. You pay a small fee and you go in and play as many games as you want for free. So let's go in and take a look. So we're in the middle of the heart of gaming, and it is just that, the heart of gaming. There's so many games to choose from. There's Mega Drives, there's N64s, there's SNESs, all with an amazing amount of preloaded games. You can select your favorite game and play it. And I tell you what, we've already been here for about four hours, but this is the sort of place where your time will just go like that. I am an avid lover of arcade games, public gaming. And that is my basis for starting the Heart of Gaming. We are at the moment console setups and arcade machines salvaged from the closure of London's Trocadero. We spend a lot of time basically refurbishing and bringing machines back from a near dead point. Everyone's experience of the arcade is something different. Some people might remember the golden eras of Pac-Man, uh, Bomb Jack, Donkey Kong. Other people might remember the cooperative period from the late 80s with Double Dragon, Final Fight. And then of course in the 90s you had the arrival of the fighting game genre with Street Fighter 2 where it was more competitive rather than cooperative. After that you know you would get Sega sort of really debuting 3D in their games. Um, after that you had the rhythm games, um, you know dance machines etc that sort of came around the turn of the century. And I like to think that we've got a nice little bit of all of that. We also support consoles because I think nostalgia is a very powerful thing and when you get to um, you know when you get to embrace it it makes for a very good day out you can always find somebody that feels the same way that you do I think retro has always had and will continue to have its presence in some way shape or form And we're back from the heart of gaming in Croydon. So we've had a great time there today. We've chilled out, we've chatted with Mark, and most of all, we've played some games. Uh, a couple of highlights to mention about the heart of gaming in Croydon. Number one, the atmosphere. It's great, it's so friendly, it's so good to see so many people having a good time, and it's so good to see so many different generations of people. It's nice to see the stigma taken off games being an isolated thing, and just seeing that they can be something that's shared by friends and family. It's just a really nice, relaxed environment. So whether you live near or whether you live far, it's definitely a place you should go and support. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and stay tuned for another episode of the Retro Bros.